Hi guys and gals, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, hello, my name is Kim. <clears throat> Excuse me, I go by Kimber Kiss Cosmic Queen here on YouTube, also known as Kimber Kiss. Don't mind the cough, I'm currently sick. We're getting through it. I'm going to do a reading today for they are telling me right now the Pleiadian star seeds. So we're going to dive right on to the Pleiadian star seeds, what they're going through, what they're experiencing. I hope everyone's doing really well. right into it. What do the Pleiadian starseeds need to hear for their mission, for the energies that they're integrating right now, for what's next? Okay, they want you to work with clear quartz Pleiadians. And you're probably going to have a lot of decisions to make. Um, I think what this is telling me right here is that you have a lot of things that you can actually do and you're feeling like you have to pick one when you can actually incorporate all of them. So stop limiting yourself. Expand, expand. Expansion is fucking huge right now. Do all of them. Fuck it. Do all of them. Right? Life is short. Do fucking all of them. Yeah. This is like lack. Because this is in the reverse. This is you trying to hold on to the ways that you always did things. And now that these new energies are coming in, switching things up to get you to do more different things, they want you to start experimenting and dabbling in those different things. So you're going to be doing more and more of that. Um, there are a lot of people like haters, um, people that are jealous, um, just lower like vibrational frequencies that are coming to you because they actually need to be transmuted. So you're actually going to be helping a lot of fucking people. Um, you're going to be transmuting a lot of dark energies, but it's no thing to you because, um, Palladians, you are the light. You are the ones that just do this by being who you are. You are the ones who trigger the darkness or the beings that hold darker or lower vibrations or frequencies because you just are who you are you are the light you are the love you are unconditional love and look at you like all this abundance that you are accumulating you always give back you always give back it's like you're literally infiltrating the financial system of society and putting it back to the right way it was always meant to be to a sense where you're going to infiltrate it so incredibly much that it's actually going to dissipate it away. Your words and the way that you go about doing good deeds and the way that you go about sharing actual abundance, like what abundance actually is, you're actually dissipating away the system. It's fucking amazing because you're bringing balance back. You're bringing balance back to the ways that things have been like you're literally the glitch in the matrix and it's so fucking awesome it's gonna piss a lot of people off like you're gonna piss a lot of people off but like look at you who the fuck cares they're gonna come to you pissed off but you're still gonna show them love and you're still gonna shine light on them and it's gonna help them transmute these energies like there's no there's like no uh, you know beating you down or no getting to you or even like if they did like the shittiest thing to you, you still find a way to forgive them, to show compassion and to transmute it and to teach them how to do the same. Like they're going to be coming to you for advice. Like the ones that hated on you and the ones that tried to stop you or limit you or like beat you down are actually the ones looking up to you now or they will be very soon because that's just the way it works. Like when you hold this amount of love and compassion in your heart and in your being and you just shine your light wherever the F you go, like, that's just how it is. Like, you're literally here to break societal structures by just being here. Like, you literally just not even trying like you're doing it. Like, that's why you trigger people by doing nothing. It's awesome. It's fucking awesome, yeah. You're really seeing, like, your mission is just being here. Um, you're seeing that this is why everything has happened to you in the past. Like where you perhaps felt like, hey, like this is the end of the world because I'm experiencing so much. And it's it was to like prep you. It was to prep you for what's to come. 
Um, you're literally one of the leaders here. Like if you're tuned in and this is resonating for you, like this piece, like you're one of the leaders here. You're one of the spiritual leaders. So it's asking of you to like really step it up and voice your truth and to lead because you can do this now. You don't have to be in the perfect place with the perfect person in the perfect situation. You are already this, like you are already perfect and perfectly capable to share your truth with the world, your love with the world, your light with the world. And so when you fucking acknowledge this is where it just like starts to magically occur. Like this is like such a magical reading, you guys. Like I can't even like, I, I just, it's so magical. I have butterflies in my fucking stomach. Oh, it's so good. Um work with amethyst as well they're really drawing me to my amethyst right now like it's sparkling and shining and smiling at me so clear quartz and amethyst will really help you palladian star seeds um i'm excited i'm making a bunch of uh different things <laughs> we'll say um lots of different things so i'm really excited stay tuned lots of cool things to come i'm actually really excited for the first time in a while like I had I don't know like just being honest like I had a hard time like I guess delivering the entirety of my potential through my readings like I, I needed to sit with my energy clear things out integrate higher frequencies from the coronal mass injections I guess you could call it um, and just the higher energies that we've been shifting into to really start meeting myself at my own level. Do you know what I'm saying? Like start meeting my higher self at my own level, which I've started and I've really been stepping into and it's really fucking exciting and empowering. And I feel like more of us are going to be doing that. If this message is coming through right now, it's important. So expand, like start doing different things, start dabbling in different things, like just things that raise your frequency and things that are of service to others that also make you happy, you know, that's the way to do it. That's like what we're going to be doing here soon. Um, that's why these systems don't like it. Um, yeah, this is why these systems are also showing you illusory energies that aren't even really true. Um we think they're true because it's on like the 3d level but if you go to like higher levels in the dimensions and etheric realms you really see everything for what it is when you take that higher source view perspective you just see everything for what it is and you know the the desperate um attempts of what these energies are doing and it makes it easier to shine light on it and it also makes it easier to transmute so it's pretty cool yeah oh my god so you're just going through full force. I feel like a lot of you are starting to figure out what it is that you're going to be doing next. And this is perfectly normal. If you don't know what you're going to be doing next, or you have a feeling that something big is coming or like all these different things are coming in and you're feeling overwhelmed, perfectly normal with these energies that are occurring right now. They're actually like, once you integrate these energies and ground them, you can do this just by going outside barefoot to the earth and take your time. Like there's no rush here. There's really no rush. Like, I just encourage you to integrate the energies because, like, look at all this shit that's coming. Like, good shit. Ace of Wands is all about magic. Like, this is your fucking magic wand here. Do not doubt it. You are here for big things. Big things. And if you've been belittling yourself or allowing others to, that's their own karma. That's their own karma if they've been belittling you and if you've been allowing those energies to stop you it's not gonna work because it's already written this is what you're here to do like this is massive magic like and not even magic it's just the light that you are okay it's the light that you are like you don't even have, like this is a thing like you maybe in the past felt like you had to try but this is a thing you don't have to try at all people are drawn to your light people are drawn to your energy people are being inspired by you palladians this is what's happening and this good change is coming in why because we have all the green here it's not just abundance 
it is you. It is your heart chakra. It is the love that you carry and that you hold. It is the light that you shine. It is the magic that of which you already are. The more you realize that you literally have to do nothing to do everything, the, the more it comes in. Everything does. Everything. It's so cool. Yeah, this is the energies of the past. Or this could be what you're going through now. Um, there's a lot of shifts taking place. Remember, when we get this huge influx of light coming in and all these different energies that of which are from the great awakening in and of itself it's going to stir up a lot of things within your etheric body and within your emotional levels and look we have all these anxieties melting away do you see the glitches in the matrix here because you're going to start seeing them and it might freak you out but that's just because we're transitioning to a more etheric plane of residing like we're going to be residing at higher etheric planes planes of dimensions and and spirituality like it's just <clears throat> like the spiritual realms you're going to be there like you're going to be doing more there and seeing more there because this you're transitioning and it sounds scary but it's actually not it's actually really really good okay um it's okay to take time for yourself like, you don't have to do a lot of stuff right now. Like, <laughs> I haven't been. I've just been doing whatever feels right in the moment. And if I'm tired, I sleep. If I'm hungry, I eat. If I want to create, I fucking create. If I want to run outside with my daughter, I run outside with my daughter. If I want to ground, I ground. You know? You have the power to do this. And it's just asking you because like literally you are the lantern. You are the lighthouse. This is you. Palladians, like don't worry. Like, and literally don't worry about what anyone says, does any of it because you're here to transmute it. Think of it as like a compliment. Think of it as a compliment because you are able to shine so bright that you are able to take all of it on. You're able to take all of it on because it's effortless to you. Why? Because you've done this for lifetimes. You've literally done it. You've been training for lifetimes. <laughs> Justice to these energies. Why? Because everything comes back into balance. And because darkness, darkness is just a, a bunch of levels of different perceptualized belief structures. And it's also intentions behind actions and motivations behind manipulations. And this is what's bringing justice in. You are because your light shines the dark, shines on the dark so that the dark can see itself, so that the dark can transmute itself. It's like you don't really even have to transmute because like you just being here shines light on the darkness and then the dar darkness knows what to do in order to transmute itself. It's very cool. And you're like the balancer here. Yeah. See, transformations. Transformations to go towards your mission. Look. Death in the reverse. It's like a rebirthal going into all that it is that you're you're wanting. All it is that you've ever wanted because you've known it since you came here. And it's been written and it's been written and it's been written and it's been written. And it's, it's changeable, it's loose, it's fluid still, it's free will still, it goes with the universal consciousness, the universal energy, it goes with source consciousness, God, Jesus, whoever you want to call it. It is in the wavelength, that of which is you, connected to the love and the universe. The universal forces are at play here and they reside within you. And now you're starting to see it. It's almost like an awakening in a sense. It's almost like an awakening in a sense. But you're always woke. You're always woke. This is just like, how do I explain it in limited English terms? You are having a rebirth to the full potential, that of which is you, that has always existed, but now you're starting to see it. I hope that makes sense. Tower. I love 
getting the tower card. You know, I used to fucking hate getting the tower card, whichever side, whether it's in reverse or in the upright. I used to fucking hate getting this card. When I see this card, I fucking rejoice now. I fucking rejoice. Why? This is where the shifts happen. This is where the shifts and, and all the puzzle pieces start to rearrange and come together and form the most powerful, potent energy, that of which is you. And you're starting to see, oh, oh, okay. I'm meant for big things. Okay, I, I can't, I can't just, you know, pretend that I don't know what and who I am. I'm here to change the world, to change the universe. I'm here to change all of it. The balancer, the abundance balancer. Damn, maybe that's what I'll call this reading. The abundance balancer. You're like the abundance balancer, the darkness and light balancer. Um, you're just like the fucking amazing magician, but to a whole other level, a whole other degree. It is fucking phenomenal and magical. And if you're not feeling this through the reading, it's okay. I feel like you will, <laughs> especially after this. Oh my fucking Lord. Look, we dimension hop just flew out. Look, interstellar space travel and heart chakra. See, remember how we had heart chakra the Ace of Wands in the reverse with the green, that of which is your heart chakra. We have heart chakra green in the reverse here, but it's like now you're seeing it and now it's clicking into place. It's like resetting everything back to the way it's meant to be. And look, like this is you. Like you can do all this shit with your technology. You do all this shit. Like, you know what's so fr freaking crazy to me is that like, People here on this earthly plane, let's just say, people of power that are ran by the darker forces that want to transition humans into them, know that they can't because we hold the stronger energy within our DNA and the higher technologies within our DNA. And so what they try to do is they try to make their technology look super amazing and cool and like high tech. And we're like, oh, wow. But like really the things that we can do are way more highly advanced than what they've even begun to scratch the surface of here on this like earthly plane. Can they work with etheric technologies like we can? Like, can they interspace travel? Can they dimension hop without material items and like do it within their light body and bilocate and astral travel and telekinesis and telepathy and fucking lightning bolts out their fingers and I'm not kidding like this is shit that we can do like that we've forgotten that we can do this is shit that we can do and they try to make their technologies look so further advanced and like so much more important but really they're the ones that are desperate to learn our technology and our consciousness look at fucking Neuralink that's all it is. Do I think Elon Musk is bad? No. I think the powers that be, or should I say the power that be, aka Lucifer, that's running the show behind the scenes, do not pay attention to the man behind the curtain, running the show, ha like they threaten their lives, you guys. They threaten their lives to make sure that their plans go, that his plan goes accordingly. But like, we already know this. We've already known this. We already see this. That's why Neuralink is here because they want to understand our consciousness so badly and all they can utilize is matter here. But we are what matters. Why? Because we are etheric souls that are infinite and never die. I'm going to be doing a whole video on this. Don't worry. A whole fucking video. They want to understand our consciousness so incredibly badly because they cannot do what we do. Why do you think they want to learn the tools of the enemy? Remember, this was a dark planet and we invaded it. And people say, no, that's not right. Maybe it was a light planet and the darkness invaded. Either way, it's a spiritual war. It's like us, it's like, okay, think of it this way. You know how there was like the Nazis 
and they were trying to learn like the, what the um fucking russians were doing with mind control and all that shit they were trying to learn their tactics so that they were ready for their enemy what do you think the darkness is doing right now they're trying to learn our tactics so that they're ready for the enemy that of which is us but really we're here to help them transition and ascend it's an oxymoron i went on a huge tangent but don't worry i'll be doing a video about that look i'm abundant you are abundant. We are abundant. Abundance is a whole other level than what you have ever been taught to believe it actually is. And this level of frequency of abundance is going to change the fucking game. 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 Do you hear me? Game. Matrix. Game. Why? Because we rise above that game. We are that game. They want to hit us with a virus. We are the virus. We are the Neo. <laughs> We come in and we're like, look, you guys may have dumbed us down and poisoned us and tried us to get us to believe what abundance actually is. But like, see where we come from, we don't need to kill trees to create abundance. Where we come from, we don't need to have control over people to create abundance. Where we come from, everyone's fucking equal and everyone's fucking love and light. And everything's dispersed equality. Everything's equal. Everyone's equal. It's all equal. And we encourage differences, of course. We encourage uniqueness because we learn through one another here. But we're setting the record straight when it comes to abundance. Like, this is not... What you've learned for abundance here is literally nothing. It's like scraps compared to the knowledge that you hold within your DNA of what this actually means. And I promise you, someday you'll realize it, if you haven't already. Wishing well. This is a good time to make a wish. Imagine yourself throwing a coin into a wishing well, but understand that you are actually a wishing well, full of wishes, that of which you can manifest here and etherically. And even if you don't see them here, 3D, you know where they manifest etherically. And they're all within you. You're already this. It's like every wish that you wish outside of you is already a piece of you that you've forgotten about with inside of yourself. Damn, there's gold coming through this. Do you feel this? This is abundant. This is true abundance. This is the abundance. <laughs> I am not third dimensional. No shit. We are not third dimensional. We are on a whole other level. This is a whole other ball game. Like fucking amazing <laughs> failures and mistakes that were actually blessings how would we ever learn and grow if we didn't make mistakes how would we ever learn and grow if we never made failures if we never failed at anything like how would we ever learn and grow like i see every conflict every um conflict of interest I see every like spiritual disturbance I see every piece of darkness is actually a blessing because I learn from it I grow from it I evolve I expand I do more I get brighter I get bigger I sh am able to inspire more through what I have been through which is a whole lot and I'm sure for all of you, it's been a whole lot because this third dimensional matrix, this game that we're playing, this lower level of consciousness and us even being here is like, how is this even possible? Well, it is. And we learn through it and we've learned so incredibly much and we are the leaders now. You know, it's so funny. It's like people that thought that you could never be a leader or could never do any of this are like literally the ones doing it now. And if you aren't, you will be. Read about Hydran mythology. Interesting. So read about Hydra. This could give you a lot of clues on what's light and what's dark and what's neutral. Okay? There's a lot of distortion around a lot of mythologies. And it's trusting your intuition on what is good and what is not good. And what is neutral. And how to transmute all of it. 
Like, you're literally like the light Hydra. The love Hydra. The love Hydra. But evolved. Like, it's, it's, it's more than just the name. And, yeah. You're literally God here, by the way. Like, you are. You're a fractal of God. I do love you. Look, I do love you. And intention is manifestation. When you do things through love, with love backing you, through every action and every word spoken and every... If you live this love, there's nothing that can come to you that, that can actually hurt you. Because you'll realize being here on this third dimensional plane of consciousness that you are love and that anything that tries to distort your vision of this or your perception of this is desperate for you to transmute it. So maybe rewatch that. I hope that makes sense. But yeah, your your intention is everything. And when you do everything with love, there like when you know your truth and you know you are unconditional love, like that's all you need. Laramar. They want you to work with the crystal Lar Laramar. Laramar. It's blue. It looks like the ocean. It's beautiful. I've actually been drawn to a couple of bracelets that I've been eyeing with Laramar in them. Um, my friend Agnes makes beautiful bracelets with crystals, and she also um, makes chokers now that are really cute. And my friend Dorothy sells crystal jewelry. So if you're looking for awesome crystal jewelry, definitely go to those girls. I don't know if they have any Laramar, Laramar, <laughs> but I know they probably have clear quartz and amethyst and all that. Um, they might even have Laramar. I, I don't know at this time, but just two awesome people that I love to support. I wish we weren't in other relationships. So a lot of you could be going through like twin flame things. It's very, very common right now. Soulmate connections, um, karmic relationships. Like if you're with a karmic, it's because they're here to teach you lessons and you're here to teach them lessons. And you're like literally transmuting each other. Like it's freaking crazy and it's a wild ride. I was put here to activate you towards your mission. I have chills fucking right now. This is literally why I'm here. I'm here to activate all y'all. I'm literally a galactic activation portal. I believe we all are. I hold this in my mind, Ken. I'm here to literally inspire you, encourage you, push you towards what it is that you're here to do. And to just activate that seed of consciousness within you. To help you to recognize, damn, I am special. I am important. I am here to do important things. Whether that just be walking around every day, just being who I am. Or going and fighting for a cause, doing something to support love, doing something to be of service to others. This is what I'm here for. Manifesting miracles. Guys, I, I can hear it right now. I'm starting to my gum like a fiend. I'm so excited. This is you. You are the miracle. You're the manifested miracle. Maybe I'll title it that. I like that. You are the manifested miracle because it's true. You are the manifested miracle. So why couldn't you manifest miracles? Duh. <laughs> we get so like consumed by what the darkness wants us to believe that we forget our God, goddess, essence, that of which we are. We are the wishing well. We are the fucking manifested miracle. Believe it and be it. Believe it and be it. Be all about it. Be all about it. A lot of you could be Syrian. Star sees that this could also be a message that the Syrians are working with the Pleiadians, with some of you. Um, so if you're being drawn to help heal the dolphins, the whales, I know there's been some things going on with like dolphins being beached um, and having like issues. So maybe put out a prayer for the dolphins and the whales. This is actually a message that I got from a very good friend of mine a couple of months ago. And now I know why. So I'm going to be doing that more, actually. Maybe I'll do that tonight. Wow, look, this card. 999. What is 999 the opposite of? 666. See, it's the opposite. The opposite. Like, we're here as a light 
to transmute the dark. And that's what this message has been telling me over and over and over again. We are the 144,000 here to shift the dark to the light, here to shift the evil to the love. Okay, that's what Ascension is. Super synchronicities. Yeah, this has been happening so much to me lately. Like, I've been in, in just, I've just been having this happen so much to the point where it's just so overwhelming that I can't even keep up. I've actually had to take breaks because of this. <laughs> so many synchronicities pouring in, but they're all amazing. They're all phenomenal. So just allow yourself to take your time to integrate them. Because if you're sensitive like me, it is a lot to take in. They want you to work with your Lemurian crystals. How did I know this was going to come out? Pleiadians, the Hawaiians, the ancient Hawaiians, they worship the Pleiades, the seven sisters. So, of course, they want you to work with Lemurian crystals. You don't have to get big pieces. Trust what you're drawn to. There's records and etchings on the side of them. If you rub your hand or your thumb up and down them, you receive the records. They're very, very potent and powerful. They're great healing tools. They're great for you. They're just amazing 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 physical consciousnesses and keys held in a vessel that of which is us as well like we are the fucking lemurian crystals guys and gals just wait to our till our fucking dna our junk dna comes online that's our fucking records that's our imprint that's our mission that's our like higher self god slash goddess essence just exploding through it's coming it's coming. I'm going to end the reading there. I love the messages here. Also work with your sacral chakra. Orange. Envision the color orange. Your sexual energy is so fucking potent and magical. It's amazing. So do not be ashamed of that energy. Work with that energy. That is your magic. And Lar Larimar. And the, and the heart chakra for sure. So that's what I'm getting guys and gals. Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing. Thank you for all the new subscribers. I appreciate you all so incredibly much. If you like this reading, let me know by giving this a like, leaving me a comment below. I'll do more of these. Um, I am going to be doing other Starseed Origins pretty soon. I'm going to take it day by day and like I did today, just see which star system is really wanting to come through to voice what it is that all of you need to hear at this time because that's what it's about. It's about you. That's why I do what I do. So I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, guys and gals, a magical Palladian starseed beings of light. I will talk to you soon. Bye now.